Hi everybody, it's Carrie. I'm sorry to make this kind of video. But guys, I know, excuse me, my nose is red, my eyes are puffy, and I'm not waxed. Guys, I decided to, to listen to Daddy You Can Let Go now to get it out so I don't get it out for you guys. So that you would not be able to continue. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm like cheeky and stuff too. Um, if you've seen the title of this video, then you already know what this is about. But if you didn't, maybe you just saw my face and clicked. I don't know. Maybe you were vision impaired with myself and you just clicked. So, guys, I was on Facebook a couple nights ago. I think this, I'm not sure when this video is going up, but this video is being filmed Tuesday, my couple Wednesday. Um, I was strolling through my Facebook news feed, like usual, guys, and I found across my cousin's post whose name I'm not going to say on here for their own protection. Um, and... It was a post from my cousin saying that my uncle has cancer and it's terminal. He only has a year to a year and a half left. Guys, this is sad because I only had eight short years on this earth with my uncle. I don't even think fully eight before he moved up north Pennsylvania and... If you guys know if you've seen my update, like life kind of like videos that I made, one of my first videos I made, where I said that my uncle taught me stop, drop, and roll during the fire. This is the uncle, but for his own protection, I'm not going to say his name in this video or any family members that I had to make this video because I accidentally blacked out my father's name in the other video. I don't want daddy's name being leaked. Though, that if you watch my videos, you know me personally, you know daddy's name. So, anyway, guys, um, I remember Christmas. Um, he came to visit us two Christmases and two Thanksgivings in a row. I think he came with us for one Easter. And I remember it was 99 or 98. Yeah, it was 90, 88, 99 because my Nana died and went to heaven in 1998. I was six. Anyway, guys, my mom got a call to gay uncle and start his name. If I do slip his name out, this video will be remade or will be edited out. Is coming to have dinner with us for Thanksgiving. I was like, yay, my aunt uncle. My uncle and his longtime girlfriend. It's like his wife. And I remember I got a potty training. Oh, I'm going further ahead. But guys, Thanksgiving was almost not that memory. Because, you know, guys, my memory before the fire isn't good. Anyway, guys, he came back that the next Christmas, and I got, I'm smiling, guys, I'm thinking about somebody, I got a potty draining Kelly, and she wasn't even able to box completely yet, and I ran over to my aunt and uncle, and was like, aunt and uncle, and her name, just look what Santa brought me, I was so happy, guys, I was like, oh, she's so pretty, I was like, it's like, the hell I wanted, uncle, and her his name, and, and pop, guys, excuse that, anyway, um, it was a good Christmas, I had turkey, and dinner with my family, and it was nice, and, Anyway, guys, my uncle had to go. He bought his own house because he was living and taking care of my grandmother. My my maternal grandma, not my paternal one, the one that owned this house before me. My maternal grandma, my nana. And so he bought his own house, and my dad used to go to help fix it up, guys. The sweetest memories as I'm smiling in a video like this is not good, guys. Um, my dad and my uncle were really good friends. They're like best friends. Because he said that he was... My dad, he, my uncle said my dad was the best man for my mother, and he treated her good. And it, my dad said that my uncle was like the brother, like a third brother or a fourth brother to him actually, because I had of another uncle too. So guys, this isn't my first radio in the dead uncle department, no dying uncle department. This isn't my first radio. Um, I remember when after my uncle had moved in. We went to help him, like, I set up or the housewarming stuff. And I had my little red tricycle. Guys, it had to be just uncle. could have been my Uncle Ralph. Like, I was thinking it was my dad's other brother who is no longer with us. Um, uncle Ralph also died of cancer. He had lung. You guys know in early, much of my earlier videos, my best friend's mother died of cancer. So I am no shame of, I'm not ashamed about being around people with it. And I'm not ashamed, you know, no offense to anybody. I'm just pointing it that way. But I am no stranger to people dying around me with cancer. There was even a belief that my mother had uterine cancer. And that is what caused me to be a preemie. So you guys, um, I, tr I crashed my bike when I was eight at my uncle's house. 
outside and I fell and I crashed my bike and I skinned my knee and I was bleeding and crying and my uncle came over and I can remember I yelled out uncle I started his name help me as I fell and got hurt guys mom my uncle remembers crying with me so he remembers coming over and crying with me and he, and he said oh no 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 I don't want to insert my father's name to think that I hurt her. That's why she's crying. Um, I'm sorry, guys. This is a little emotional. You know, don't talk about this. Um, anyway, guys, they're going to clean me up with my legs and now back to normal. But the fact that my uncle cared enough, like, this is the uncle who, though he lived up further away and, and he has some issues himself, that's why he couldn't come down and see me. Sorry, guys, I'm going to show my finger. Um, and stuff like that over at the years, but he always sent like birthday cards and Christmas cards and letters and stuff, which I can write him letters. I'm from a little shaky, guys. I'm, I'm a little emotional. My cousin told me that um he's actually in the hospital, guys. Um, so he can receive letters. He does Zoom calls, but he can't get any visits because of stupid COVID. He can't have any visits in the hospital. He's planning to being released and going home. But the thing is, though, he's so sick that. Like I said, he only has a year to a year and a half left. So, I don't want to make this video too long. Guys, um, I can remember when I was six, he taught me stop, drop, and roll. Where he always was teaching me that school was, and so I knew about it. Because, guys, I don't want to give up too much of my family business, because it's family matters. And my cousins died in a house fire. Almost the exact one that I had that almost claimed my life almost 11 years ago. Ten and, ten and a half, almost ten. Let's see, my fire was August. Almost ten and a half years ago. Guys, I believe I'm alive today because of my uncle teaching me. Now, I think it was God speaking through my uncle. He was teaching me stop, drop, and roll. I remember him saying to me he didn't care if Emily, Katie, or Kelly... My backpack baby accessories, my most prized possessions, were in that fire. Or if, um, as yeah, I said, I'm lazy. If Samantha, my baby born, you guys actually on camera, or my amazing Amy, who I lost in the fire. My other two dolls I lost in the fire too. They were ever in there to just leave them and get out. I remember my uncle saying he didn't care if Emily was real close to me. Just, just. Go. If you can't reach her, just out of the room, go. And I remember my uncle. And then uncle used to tell me, I remember my dad coming in the room and saying, Honey, uncle insert his name is right. Don't go back for anything in there. And guys, I went back into the fire to save my cat. Now oh guys, I know this sounds crazy. I do want to do a house fire survivor video. Because if it wasn't for my uncle telling me those words, guys, I may not be a house fire survivor. My cousins were not so lucky. And I mean, it's it's sad because, you know, but it is what it is, guys. But my uncle does get, like I said, letters and calls and stuff. And I think he's too weak right now to talk on the phone. So, like I said, guys, this is my mother's brother. I don't want you guys to, God forbid, think it is my father's last living brother because it's not. I actually actually heard from him about it. Uh, Gosh, right to Christmas he called me. This video is about the other uncle. So guys, um, if your uncle is healthy and he is alive, or if he's healthy, he's alive, treasure your uncle. He's a good uncle, treasure your uncle. Because my uncle Ralph, on my father said, I don't know if it's in this video or a repeat video, he also died of cancer. Lung. So guys, um, I'm babbling on. This video is becoming much, much too long. But I hope you guys, please don't think I'm trying to get you guys to pity me or feel sorry for me in any way. Because it's not what this video is about. This video is to get out how I'm feeling, guys. My father was sad when I told him. He couldn't believe it. They were like best friends, like I said. So when I told him, I like to use the phrase, going to Aslan's country with Aslan from Narnia. <laughs> Narnia was like my favorite book as a kid. Guys, my mother... Is in heaven. My cousins are in heaven. My oldest biological, not my oldest biological brother, but my oldest second brother down. My parents had a miscarriage before my brother was born. 
the one who is in the same age. Now, one that's a little bit older than me, who I called Derek. Um, we had another brother in the room when the boys died that mother lost. So she's in I'll be in heaven with him and my my nana and my pop pop and all my other relatives. But guys, I'm not making this video for views or for anything like that, guys. I just want to get it out. But until my next uploaded video, remember, Carrie loves you so much. I'm so sorry for this sad video. Guys, also, I hope that when my uncle's time comes close, I'm on a date with some sleazy guy. When my aunt died, I was too busy being with Charlie. Now, you guys want to hear about Charlie, we'll do a different video, but... I was on a date with Charlie when my aunt took her final breath consciously and I didn't know it guys or I wouldn't have been with Charlie. I wouldn't want to go to be with my aunt. But I didn't know that because the decision wasn't up to me. So I went off with Charles and I had fun and we went to the movies, we went to the mall, but that was my aunt's last day on this earth, a conscious. So I wish I could have gone to be with her before she passed the guys look at this way. With my uncle, I may not. I might be able to have the pleasure of not watching him die. Like I did my mother. So guys, I'm making this video much too long. But until my next upload, remember, Carrie loves you all. Goodbye, guys.